Hello guys, today we are going to be learning how to operate a Teddy Ruxpin. This exact model is the 1985 Teddy Ruxpin, and we'll be learning how to operate the slow peripheral called Grubby, which plugs into Teddy via this audio cord. It doesn't have to be the exact one like I have. It can be third party ones, but but I prefer the original stuff since it makes it work better. So here are the things that you'll need to get the full set. Teddy Ruxpin. There are many versions. One is a metal tape backing in the tape player. I have the plastic one, which I'll talk about later. And so you're gonna need Teddy Ruxpin, one tape, the cord, the side with the tag plugs into Grubby, and grubby. So first, let's talk about what Tay Ruxpin even is. So how, so first Tay Ruxpin plays these audio cassette tapes I have lost in Boggly Woods. I will not be showcasing the entire tape. I will just show you what to do, what, what Tay Ruxpin even does. And so first let's get into the things that you need to do to get yours working. First, you'll need to get this cover off. Pre. And you'll need four of these C batteries in in this order. Back, front, back, front. And as you can see, my backing has battery corrosion which surprisingly does not affect how it works. And, and in Grubby's cord, the, the end without the tag plugs into there. And the tape, and the tape, you can open up this little tape door. And then you put the tape in there and if yours doesn't close correctly, just push the tape in a bit. Then it should close correctly. And then the other end, it should have the tag near it. You can turn Grubby over like this. And if you pull back the tag, you'll see the port where you're supposed to plug it in. Let me just plug it in real quick. And then you can set him back up. And then, and make sure that, and something to note, make sure that I actually have mine put in wrong. Make sure that all the tape is on this, is on the right side when you put it in so when you put in the tape if you look through the tape window you'll see that it should look like that and don't and don't be surprised if it is a bit yellowed since that usually happens in clear plastic so your setup should look a little bit like this and then you will see this little dial if you turn that that way teddy will turn on and if you put it all the way, it will fast forward, and you can also control the volume with it. Let me turn mine on. Huh. Maybe I have the tape in wrong? Or my tape's out of batteries. Yes, the tape's incorrectly. Let me try it again. Nothing. Let me try the tape the other way. Tape has to go the other way. Huh. This is pretty random. Ah, huh. still nothing. Dad, I need four C batteries. So if yours run out of batteries, just First, you'll have to take his little vest off. You can just 
unstrap it and then re then remove it. Then those clips that I showed you, uh, you can unclip those by just pushing them up. Then take the cover off. And to take the batteries out, you need to just pluck them out one by one. I need 4C batteries, Dad. Or you can just dump the batteries out, which is always quicker. Dad, you coming? Are you still filming? Yes. Just hand me the batteries over the couch. So if this happens, just don't worry. Either my Tyroxin just didn't decide to work today, or the battery corrosion finally got to it. Four C battery. All right, my dad's coming with the batteries. So, if yours is in good condition, you, you should see the sticker of how to put them in if, if, if the way that I put them in isn't very clear to you. And the vest is fully removable if you, say, need to clean your Tayroxman. While we're weighing, my Tayroxman is the two servo version since it's the plastic tape backing. The metal tape backing will have three servos, which makes it more rare to have it work. So, here's the order. You need to put this one backside first. Then you switch sides every until you're out of batteries. If you're using energizer, it should look something like this. And then you can pop the cover back on, strap his vest in again. Hopefully this works. And strap his vest again. Get them all. And then you can plug in the cord again. And you should work if you turn the dial. Okay, we got something. Huh. All right. So I have to turn the tape around. There we go. And it should sound like that. And you should see Teddy moving. Hello, I'm Teddy Ruxpin. And I'd like to tell you... And Grubby should start moving, Am too. Am I in the story? Why, yes, you are, Grubby. Oh, boy. This sounds like a good story. So far. <laughs> and their eyes and mouth should what be moving. Gimmick, Grubby, and I went on a hike to a part of Boggly Woods none of us had ever visited before. Wow, look at all the bright leaves on these trees. This must be the most beautiful part of the entire forest, gimmick. <laughs> You're right, Teddy, and it's just perfect for and that old little surprise and Robbie I told you should about. have sound We're coming out of the speaker. The whole morning painting and Teddy's voice should come trees. out of the speaker. Painting? Oh, boy, let's get started. Gee. These trees don't look like they need painting. They're already colorful. Uh, no, Grubby. We're not going to paint the trees. We're going to paint pictures of the trees. Oh. So, we And you should hear little, little whizzing noises the as they move. But Grubby just and if the sound is distorted, that is most likely the tape's problem. What's wrong, Grubby? So, goodbye.